Hello everyone! Welcome to tech to tinker My name is George and in this video, we will talk about the stepper motor with ESP32 using MicroPython. What I have here are step motor driver module from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit and a generic step motor for the demonstration. This step driver module contains A4988 driver module which supports micro stepping. This module only provides two modes which is full step and half step through this small slide switch. For this generic step motor, it takes 200 steps for one revolution when set at full step mode and 400 steps if set to half step mode. So basically, micro stepping provides smaller steps or ability of achieving more accurate steps. This module is powered through a 9 volts external power supply via a barrel jack connector. It has control pins, namely GND for the ground pin, VCC. For the supply voltage of the chip, DIR pin for controlling the direction of rotation. A logic zero will make the step motor to rotate clockwise while a logic one for counterclockwise direction. And a step pin for controlling the micro steps of the stepper motor. For this experiment, you will need an ESP32 development board. A Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield, some female to female DuPont jumper wires, and of course, the set of stepper motor module. You will also need a 16x2 LCD module and a rotary encoder module for the example number 2. But for example number 1, we will only use the step motor driver module and the stepper motor itself. In using the Gorilla Cell development kits, the following should be observed. When attaching the DuPont wires to the modules, the color coding should be observed. That is, black for the ground, red for the VCC, yellow and the following colors to the signal pins. While when attaching the DuPont wires to the ESP32 shield, match the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers. That is, black to black, red to red, yellow and the following colors to the yellow pin headers. For this lesson, I choose GPIO 18 and GPIO 19 as the control signal pins for the step motor module. GPIO 21 and 22 as the control signal for the 16x2 LCD module. And GPIO 32 33 and 34 as the control signal pins for the rotary encoder module. Now for the software part, I prepared here to example source code for this demonstration. Now for example number 1, let's explore how we can control a stepper motor with A4988 driver chip. A4988 driver chip simplifies control of step motors. Now, I created here a utility class to handle function calls. It takes two parameters, which is the step pin and DIR pin, which basically sets the pin assignment for the step pin and DIR pin, which is connected to GPIO 18 and 19. It has a single method inside, which is the rotate method function calls, which takes two parameters, which is angle and rotation. Angle parameter is the number of degree angles from current position, and the rotation parameters for setting the direction of rotation. DIR pin sets the direction of rotation of the step motor. A value of logic 0 
sets the direction of rotation in clockwise direction, while a value of 1 sets the rotation to counterclockwise direction, while step pin controls the power applied to the step motor. A value of logic 1 enables the power while a value of 0 disables the power applied to the motor. Any angles you set in the parameters is converted to the number of steps which is achieved by calling the map function which is this function which basically converts the angle which can have a value of 0 to 360 degrees to the number of steps which can have a value of 0 to 200 which is converted by ratio and proportion. To demonstrate, let me click the run button for the example number 1. Now I have here some examples that you can try. Let's copy this one. Stepper, which is the name of the object which is instantiated using the, the class we created, which is the Gorilla Cell Step Motor class, which basically calls the rotate uh, method, which accepts an angle and a direction. So this will rotate the stepper motor for one revolution or 360 degrees in clockwise direction. Let me hit enter. And as you can see, it rotates 360 degrees in clockwise direction. Or we can rotate it in counterclockwise by changing this parameter to counterclockwise or CCW. Let me hit enter. Or we can change it. Let's say we want to rotate only 90 degrees from the current position. And I will hit enter. And as you can see, it rotates. Or clockwise direction. Or if you want 180 degrees, 180 clockwise. Now, for example, number two, this will serve as our application. We will use this 16 by 2 LCD module to display a menu for controlling the step motor and this rotary encoder for navigating the said menu system. Now, let me click the stop button first to terminate example number one. And let me click the run button to execute example number two. Now, there is a menu here that we can navigate using the rotary encoder. Let's say we can change the direction by pressing the rotary encoder. And you may observe that the onboard LED starts blinking, which indicates that we are in the configuration mode. We can change it to counterclockwise or clockwise. Let's say leave it in clockwise direction. I, I just press the button. We can go to change the, the angle. Let's leave it to 360. We go to set move. Currently, the status is stop. So I will press the encoder. And I will rotate this to change to status go. And I will press the encoder. And observe that the rotary encoder will rotate for 360 degrees clockwise direction. As you can see. And it goes back to status stop. We can move it again. Let's say let's change the direction to counterclockwise. I will press, I will change anti-clockwise, and I will press again to save. Then I will go to 
set move status and I will change it to go. And I will press again the encoder. There is another menu here at last which is the freestyle. So I will press the encoder and we can rotate for fine tuning the current position of the stepper. So if I rotate it clockwise, it follows the direction of rotation of the encoder, which is achieved by uh, setting the angle that is requested by multiplying the number of uh, steps of the rotary encoder by 10. If the rotary direction is negative, we will multiply it to negative 10 to make it positive value. And we set that the stepper motor will rotate in counterclockwise direction. Else, if the rotary direction is more than 0, which is a positive value, we multiply the rotary direction value to 10. And we set the direction to clockwise. So, just like this. So, that's pretty much of it. I hope you can learn something from this. As always, the source code that is in here, including other information, can be found in the companion blog post for this video atechtotinker.blogspot.com Links in the video description. If you have any question, please write your message in the comment box provided. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you! And see you next time. God bless.